Hey, and welcome back. In this section, let's dive deeper into vector searches to see how VB8 helps to make the magic happen behind the curtains. We've covered a lot of ground in this unit already. You've learned how to use get and aggregate functions to retrieve objects or compile information. You've seen different ways of performing vector searches like near vector, near object, and near text, and learned how to use filters such as where, limit, and offset. Now, let's take a moment to explore the vector search process in a little bit more detail. You might have noticed that even though all three of near vector, near object, and near text are vector search parameters, you don't actually provide a vector to VV8 with near object or near text. But regardless of whether you use near vector, near object, or near text, the actual search is always based on a vector. The difference with near object or near text is that the input is converted to a vector by VV8. When using the near object parameter, VV8 retrieves the associated vector for the object, which then becomes the input vector. On the other hand, when using the near text parameter, VV8 converts the input text to a vector based on the applicable vectorizer module. Depending on your settings, it might be using an external API or a local model. We'll cover more on vectorizers very soon, but for now, just know that they are what VV8 uses to convert objects like text or image to a vector. You'll see in this section a demonstration of this by taking near object or near text searches and converting them to equivalent near vector searches. And we also talked about filtering. But when does the filtering exactly happen? Does VV8 filter the data before the vector search or after? VV8 implements pre-filtering. What this means is that the specified filters are applied first resulting in an allow list of objects. The vector search then returns the most relevant objects from this allow list. This approach, combined with efficient filtering methods, enables VV8 to return the right number of results and fast, even when restrictive filters are applied to large databases. So a visualization of the vector search process might look something like this. An input is provided containing filters and vector search parameters. With the filters, VV8 performs a pre-filtering step to obtain an allow list of objects. On the other hand, the vector search parameter is used to determine an input vector, which may involve an additional step, such as retrieving the object's vector with near object, or vectorizing the input text with near text. The input vector is then used to perform a vector search from the objects in the allow list, returning the most relevant objects or an aggregation to the user. Now, this is something of a simplification, but hopefully this gives you a good mental model of how a vector search works in VV8, in terms of both how filtering works in conjunction with the vector search and how those vector search parameters work. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.